Dry weather tonight, uh, just a few clouds sneaking on in. Looking at downtown Sharon, the temperature holding in the middle 40s. And it's not going to get all that cold tonight. We'll slip back into the mid to upper 30s to get out the door tomorrow morning. Even a few 50s hanging on in southern Columbia County after a very uh, warm afternoon. Now, we do stay dry. These clouds will sneak through here on and off uh, tonight into tomorrow morning, but they won't produce much. I do want to take you back out to the west. I talked about this storm system that that's brewing and developing in the southern plains, already causing some severe weather. Now, the reason I point this out is this is the system that will be moving in our direction as we go into tomorrow night and Thursday. Now, it's going to produce big, severe weather here in Mississippi and Alabama uh, later tomorrow into tomorrow night. A big area impacted with this uh, rough weather. As for us, I want to throw on our future lightning product here, and it'll show you that all these storms get clustered together and then start lifting north northward with that rain shield. But this entire system is going to slip by just to our south, keeping us out of the big storms, but into the heavy rain shield out of this storm system. So here's how it plays out at home. The rest of tonight into tomorrow, just a few clouds. Temperatures falling into the middle 30s. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a quiet day. By lunchtime, we'll be back in the upper 40s, pushing 50 degrees. And right on through the 50s tomorrow afternoon, I do look for high temperatures close to 60 degrees. Another warm day uh, settling in for us. And we'll see some sunshine around, filtered by clouds at times. Times, but it'll take until tomorrow night, especially late tomorrow night, uh, when that chance of rain moves back in. And the wind will pick up as well as we approach early Thursday morning. Once this gets going on into Thursday morning, I do expect a steady rain on and off uh, through the day Thursday, and even a very small chance for some embedded thunder, especially south of Youngstown. Uh, but that northeast wind is going to be blowing in here pretty gusty, so uh, look for temperatures in the 40s. Uh, rain continues. Continues on and off through the day and right on into Thursday evening and then turning even colder Thursday night. And that'll mix back to even some snowflakes before wrapping up. Uh, so cold and blustery and wet uh, for your Thursday. How wet? Well, there's a chance out there to see up to an inch of rainfall. That's for sure. Uh, future rainfall trying to get even above an inch in a few spots here by the time this is all said and done on into Thursday night. But the good news is we dry right back out through the end of the week and into the weekend. At 36 tonight, just a few clouds for us. Tomorrow for your St. Patrick's Day, highs near 60, becoming mostly cloudy. Rain moves in late tomorrow night into Thursday, sticks around with that gusty wind and into Thursday night as well. Then a little bit of cold air causing some snowflakes before wrapping up by early Friday morning. Friday becoming mostly sunny but cooler. Highs in the low 40s warming up slowly through the weekend and wall to wall sunshine expected both Saturday and Sunday. Spring officially starting Saturday morning and it's going to feel like spring right into the mid 60s with more sunshine to start next week.